yeah. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went into the 8th badge, 8th eighth, eighth gym leader, and we won our 8th badge, and well, now it is time for us to actually go straight to the Pokemon League, which I don't remember where it was. Let's see, hold on. Yeah, Hammerlock Station all the way out to like somewhere up north. Now, in our last episode, I actually mentioned something about switching up a Pokemon or two. Mainly because, well, I see a little something, I need to switch it, and I need to actually improve upon on the team. And I thought long and hard about this one. I really did. And it wasn't until like I saw a comment here and there that maybe I should be using this one Pokemon. Not two, one, because the the uh, the the plan was, or the plan, yeah, the plan was for me to go back to Beelzemon, which was uh, Impidimp, Impidimp's uh, Pokemon and all that stuff. And uh, I, I soon realized that I was like, ah, you know what? We need to go with something different because if I if I pick Impidimp's uh, evolved form, I have to go back. I have to take Zigzagoo now and all that stuff. So I tried something different, and that Pokemon is Togepi. Well, look at that, level 45. I caught it in the wild uh, in the wild area a few months back, and it was actually uh, what was it called? It was a Dynamax Pokemon at one point. Now I did teach it a few a few good moves, and I did name it Togepi, Togepi, because well, you know, from the anime and all that stuff. Now I'm just gonna give it a few a few candies here and there, just so it can be up to level and hopefully evolve right there and then. So here we go. Let's go ahead and give it three large extra experience candies right here. And it is at level 50. There's a last resort attack. Let's go ahead and keep the old moves. Now, Togepi, or Togepi, yeah, Togepi, or Togepi, the way it evolves is through happiness. And unfortunately for us right now, it doesn't have a lot of happiness. So, what we're going to be doing off screen is we're going to get it to be happy. I'm going to try and uh, buy a few vitamins here and there and, and then actually you know try and get it to be happy right there and there because we, we kind of need to evolve this Pokemon like right now like right now now like right now so I'll be right back with you guys okay so a little bit of a fact check right here guys I just realized a little something and that was that the place where you get to buy these vitamins you know like carbs uh, carbos uh, proteins and all that stuff you have to go to Winden and uh, yeah that is exactly where we're that's our next location right there so might as well do that um, there is a little something here that I want to do too I, you know we're gonna be switching out our Pokemon uh, Togepi all the way to the very front because well you know if, it, if memory serves me correctly if it's at the first spot then it's gonna give some it's gonna give you some love right there so we're gonna be going into the uh, the train station right here, and we're gonna see what happens. Let's see what happens because I feel a hop alert right here. So here's the station. Everybody's cheering for us, and well, let's see what exactly are we gonna be looking for. And oh my God! Wait up, Driven! I'm coming too. I had Ryan beat in no time. Once I got my head straight and stopped doubting every decision I made, that is a uh, <laughs> hmm. Oh my god, this clown is here. And you never stop nattering through the entire battle. You're pretty different from the champion in that. But your strength is genuine, as proven by the dragon badge you want from me. You came at me with all the force of a raging storm, and even I was blown away. Listen up, you two. Battle your way through the Champion's Cup, or the Champion's Cup tournament to face Leon. And I forgot to read the last part. I reckon I'm still the favorite to win, but I'm up against a true rival, Draven. So I'll ring out every last thing I learned during my battle with you, Ryan, and to beat him. So, get a move on, Draven. The train's waiting. I am flipping you off hard right now because, man, you really think you could beat me? Okay, so, yeah, here we are in the train, and I'm here with, uh, you know, King Clown himself. And I, apparently we're listening to something. We're doing exactly what, you know, society now does, and that's get on their phone and do everything. So we're finally headed to Winden. There's a lot that I had to check out there. There's a big tower and a monorail in the Winden Stadium where the whole gallery, no, the whole uh, world is going to be watching us. Me, I'm just like, don't care. I already know what's going to happen. You get it right? You and me are going to make our match the greatest match that ever was. Okay. All right. Well, whatever you say. Still don't care. Really don't care about this guy. And, well, let's see. 
talk to this guy. Let's see what this is all about. And look at this. That's a pretty cool Pokemon. Wonder what the scenery uh, would appear if uh, all the snow on Route 10 melted away, which, you know, it's pretty cool. Okay, so here we are, guys. We are in Winden. Or we are in the in Route 10, going straight to Winden. So this is Route 10. It's like a wall made out of snow. But there'll be ice that Pokemon crawling out. Uh, the world worked like this. Okay. Come on, Draven. Reckon we'll be able to train ourselves up to new heights here before the Champion Cup starts. I believe in myself and my Pokemon and my team, and I know uh, you will get a lot lower stronger. So I'm off. See you at Winden, mate. Okay, so we are in Winden, and well, first is first. Grab us those. And let us go ahead and try and evolve our Pokemon. Now, yes, you will be able to catch some pretty cool Pokemon right here, including Mr. Rhyme or Mr. Mime, the Galarian Mr. Mime. And, well, screw it, we're just going to be battling with uh, Togepi. Do you have any injured Pokemon? I'm a doctor. Okay, alrighty. So here we go, taking on Dr. Graham. And, well... Let's see. He's gonna be coming out with a Gardevoir. Gardevoir. And here's my little Togepi. And yeah, we are loads levels. Le we're levels away from this Pokemon right here. But we're gonna be switching out right here. We're gonna be going straight to Blitzkrieg. Well, it might be a risk, but it is what it is, guys. Let's go, Blitzkrieg. And Blitzkrieg is looking fantastic. And here comes a Dazzling Gleam. Not gonna be effective. Pretty cool right there. We're gonna be hit by by snow, and well, we're gonna be yeah, we're gonna be on our you know we're gonna be on this guy's case right here. So here you go, poison jab for the win. And God Dubois has been defeated. Look at that. Okay, and well, so the pre grows to level 57, and Dr. Graham is looking like oh wow, that's wow. The Pokemon has been injured and destroyed like that. Okay. No evolution right now. We Our mission is to try and evolve Togepi into Togetic. And wow, there is somebody waiting for us right here. So let's go right ahead. And he's like, only, only do what you can. Take a risk uh, while mountain climbing is dangerous. Yeah, don't say. Okay. Okay, so many of you guys are, are, are kind of wondering the decision right here, okay? The decision of me switching a uh, uh, Corviknight for a Togepi at this point in time. It, it, it is kind of risky, but I do feel as though it is the right decision because it does evolve into a pretty strong uh, fairy type Pokemon, and that's kind of what I need in a flying type Pokemon as well. We get both, yeah, we get both of a, uh, both of good, like, you know, the, be the best of both worlds if, I, if you guys know what I'm talking about. And, well, there's a curse attack right there. And, well, there's an increase. And we're going to be buffed by snow because, well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's go with liquidation right here. And the liquidation does it. Okay, so there we, there we go with that. And, well, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, so this guy is literally... This guy's literally uh, digging through, so let's go right ahead and yeah, we don't have that Pokemon. Oh, you know what? Let's go with Dreamzilla. <laughs> yeah, it's still a ghost type Pokemon, so maybe, just maybe, it's a uh, it's a uh, what you call it, Levitate, or it won't be affected. And oh, it got affected. Holy crap! Okay, so yeah, we're getting affected right here. Holy crap! Oh my god! Okay, so Steelix, you are. You, you, you are one strong Pokemon right here, so here we go. Shadow Ball. Bam. And just like that, Steelix has been defeated. And bam, more experience points for all our Pokemon right here. And yes, we're going to get buffed by, by Ice right here. So this guy's going to be coming out with another Pokemon. So let's go straight for Blitzkrieg. Now, like I said, guys... Wanted to make that decision, best of both worlds, flying and fairy type Pokemon, plus it's just a little more beefy and it has a little more upside to its attacks. You guys know what I mean. I, I get that. Oh crap, baskets. I chose the Ah, you know what? Screw it. Let's go with Boom Burst. Like I get I get that it's like there's more deep like I'm sacrificing like a lot of defense for this one Pokemon, but I don't want to be prepared for what's ahead right here. And well, we have defeated Douglas. 
you don't you won't be able to beat a strong opponent without pushing the limits of what's possible. <laughs> he looks like that image. Okay, so let's keep it going. And yes, we're gonna be finding a lot of trainers, a lot of Pokemon, one being Sneasel, and trust me, these Pokemon are friggin' fast. Let's go ahead, battle this guy. I get more nervous about battles than work. Okay. So, here we go. Worker Ronald wants the battle. And he's coming with his Revolve. And we got Togepi. Togepi is ready. And there's that pressure attack. Now, let's see. I could just go for it. Let's go with a Dazzling Gleam attack. And here comes that Metal Claw. Crap baskets. All right, there we go. Super effective. That increases its attack a little bit more. So here comes the Dazzling Gleam from a baby Pokemon itself. And that nearly defeats it. But I am not taking that risk in the next move right here. So let's go right ahead and go straight to Bex. We're going to bend it like Beckham right here. Okay, Bex. There we go. And, well, here comes the Metal Claw. That would have probably defeated Togepi. And that right there is not... Well, it's a double hit right there. Luckily for us, we got double hit itself. So there we go. And Weavile has been defeated. And more Pokemon are gaining points. We're getting a little bit more in favor with Togepi. And here comes a Clay Doll. I think I do have the Pokemon for this. Let's go, Dreamzilla. Let's do this. Totally trying out some new Pokemon that I've never tried before. And... You know, we're going to continue doing that right here. So let's go with a Shadow Ball right now. And the Shadow Ball is growing, growing, and bam, hits the Clay Doll. Almost defeats it. Here comes an Earth Power. And that nearly defeats us. Holy baskets. Okay, and well, if it wasn't this cloud, it was us. Okay. So, yeah, we got hit pretty hard. All right. Let's see. I would use Togepi, but yeah, that's... I. I I do not trust it right now, so let's go with Michelangelo. Holy crud baskets, okay. Michelangelo, ready to go. And here comes a liquidation attack. The liquidation attack does its trick, look at this. Okay, played all, defeated. Yes, it is definitely not liking us right now, and that's probably something I should be giving Togepi. And Ronald, Ronald McDonald has been defeated, and he's taking a big old selfie of himself. Okay, so, let's see. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so what kind of a... Okay, got a regular revive. And, you know, the, the cool thing about buying item, like, like the, the vitamins right here in this game is that you're always getting money somehow, especially through the wild area. Like, you're getting rare items, and uh, you definitely have a... You actually have a, a, a like, a, a bag for it, like, you know, for all the for the items that you could sell. And as you can see, I got quite a few things that I could sell in order to, um, in, in order to, uh, well, whatchamacallit, to buy some vitamins that I need to, you know, get this Pokemon all lovey-dovey with me and all that crap. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing in the next episode. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to take this guy. There's some Pokemon right there. And we get ourselves a common shard. You see, the luck continues, and uh, there's a Cub Chew looking at us. Yeah, don't want to battle these guys right now. So, let's go right ahead and battle this guy. Do you know the old legend that says that Galar is doomed of a Corviknight ever disappear? Well, a Corviknight disappeared from my team, so... Does it affect me? Here we go, Gabby Joffrey. Or Jeffrey. And he's coming out with a Corviknight. Definitely a Pokemon that we used to have, and, well, look at that, it's looking at us all, like, gallantly and all that crud, and, well, let's see, let's see, switch out our Pokemon right now. Yes, our Pokemon is stronger than this guy, but, we, <laughs> yeah, we kind of need to keep it alive, that way we can actually evolve it, like, straight through. I do have a Shiny Stone to actually evolve it towards this final stage, and that does not affect us pretty hard, so, that's cool, that's cool, alright. Okay, so, let's see. Let's go right ahead and discharge this guy right here. So, here we go. Blitzkrieg, discharge. And there you go. Corviknight has been defeated. 
And, well, let's see. More points for all of us. Kiss has grown to level 55. And what is next? Here comes Flagon. Flagon is, uh, well, let's see. Let's go with Dreepzilla. Hopefully this actually works. Now, we do have a, a few, in or we do have two impending, I guess, evolutions. I could be wrong. I don't know. And here comes Flygon right here. So let's go straight for a Dragon Pulse attack. And yes, we are first. If you're not first, you're last. And here, Flygon is last. Yes. Where's that? Okay, what what quote? Like, what movie quote was that? Comment down below, guys. And, well, there we go. Toga Pre Glow. Oh, gross level 58. And yes. Okay. And still no evolution. Good gravy. It's going to be a while, guys. It literally is going to be a while before we actually evolve this Togepi. That's that's probably why we have to get to uh, to uh, Winden right here. So here comes Postman Harper. Coming in with this Pelipper. Alright. Alright, Pelipper, you're looking pretty nice. Okay, and here comes the Drizzle. So, yeah, we won't be affected. But you kind of messed yourself over right here. So let's go straight back down and let's go straight to to Blitzkrieg Bub right here. And we all know what happens with electric attacks and drizzle. Kinda gets a little bit crazy. Just a little bit. And well, here we go. Overdrive. And well, it, yeah, it becomes a little faster than us, but guess what? Won't hurt us that much. So here comes Overdrive. Overdrive does it sting. Pelipper has been defeated. And, well, look at that. We're getting more experience points. Here comes Knocked Out. We're going to continue right here with, uh, with, uh, with, with Blitzkrieg. So, let's go right ahead and use a Discharge. Now, I don't... Okay, so I know that both Discharge and... Discharge and, uh, and Overdrive are two different things. One, if you're playing in double battles, Discharge will hit everybody. The other one won't. But it just, it, just seems, it just seems the same. Kind of looks the same. And look at that, Michelangelo, level 55. Postman Harper, not liking it. He's giving us the, the, the death of doom, and uh, or the face of doom and all that crud. And, well, there are some Pokemon right here that you could actually find, like uh, Mr. Mime. Oh! Oh, I didn't do that on purpose! Ah! See how fast it is? Good gravy! Okay, ah! Oh my god, okay, so... There we go, we found our PB up. And let's go right ahead and check out something right here, guys. Like, I've learned... Ah! <laughs> no! Okay. Oh my god, you just saved me, okay. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so... Can we go camping? Yes, we can go camping, okay. Alrighty. Oh, jeebus. Okay, so here is Togepi, and let's go ahead and take out a toy right here. Or let's call it. This... This is trying to, like, right here, we're, tra we're trying to make it happy. Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. And it is hitting us. Let's change the toy. And look at Togepi, just love that. Oh, what? Really? Togepi, get over here. Get over here, you... Oh. Okay, there we go. Get it, Togepi. Get it! Don't let... There we go. Look at Togepi. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm hoping this will make it happier. No, don't change the toy. Okay. There we go. There we go. Keep it away from that far fetch. So, as you can see, we are making this Pokemon a little happier. So let's go straight to the menu, and let's go ahead and cook something. Let's go ahead and cook something. This is a, like this is a first right here, guys. I'm gonna be cooking for our Pokemon, and what right here it just requires quite a few. Uh, Quite a few things, so I'm just gonna grab one of each. There we go. No, I'm not gonna grab that since this is pretty rare right now. Per some berries. There we go. Lum berries. There we go. Citrus berries. 
And let's go something for, let's go the koala berry. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and start cooking. There we go, we're mixing up everything. Look at that, okay. And I don't know what that is, but, um, okay. Oh yeah, okay, so we're supposed to fan this thing right here. And right now I'm like going fast. There we go. There we go. Come on, fan the flames. There we go. See, this is like a very like. Why, why did we do this before? I actually did this like off screen, and it actually, it actually did like I actually did a pretty good job with it. Like, <laughs> I actually did a pretty good job that I actually make people or Pokemon happy right here. So, look at that. Okay, I'm stirring the crud out of this thing right here. Now I'm gonna go the other. Oh no, I'm gonna go this way. There we go. There we go. And. Put your love into it. Your heart into it. Okay, so that's love. And just like that, this 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 thing right here, this cooking, has become delicious, and all the Pokemon are noticing it. Where is Togepi? Where the heck is Togepi? Bone curry. Oh wow. And Togepi's just like, Oh my god. Delicious! Oh my god, okay. Okay, so the rating, Couple Raja class. Your Pokemon's HP and PP are restored, and any status conditions are healed. Your Pokemon gained a lot of experience points. Togepi and the rest of your party got friendly toward you. Okay, so that might be that might be something. Okay, so let's see. After that, my Pokemon grow some levels, but I want to check up on something right here. Okay, so if that happened, let's go right ahead and give it this two and it's at level 59 and it won't evolve okay so it got a little friendly good gravy okay so we're kind of <laughs> yeah we're kind of raising our stakes right here or raising our hopes a little and well before we go anywhere else we need to actually go s we need to go right here because there is a little something galarian mr mime go away and we found ourselves a power herb which is nice and Get the heck away from me, man. Man, these Pokemon really do know how to corner you. Let's go right here and take on this individual. He's like, uh, wah -ha! Hey, Pokemon trainer, what should I do? I really don't want to battle. Then why are you standing there? I'm just asking. Okay, so here we are taking on Hiker Donald. And... Well, Hiker Donald, you ready to go? And he's coming out with his Giga Lift or Giga... Giga J uh, uh, yeah, Giga Lift. Why did I say Giga Lift? I do not know. Okay, so he's coming out with a Sandstream right here. So best way to go about this is go to Michelangelo. Time to beat everybody. Alrighty, okay. And Michelangelo is looking ferocious. So here comes a Stealth Rock, something that you know Rahan did on us. And well, if it's pointed towards that, let's go with Liquidation. And the liquidation attack does its trick. Gigalith has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And, well, let's see. About to come out with a right horn or right on. So, let's continue on. Hey, right on. Looking uh, pretty beefy. Believe it or not, right on was initially one of my first favorite Pokemon when Generation 1 came out. That was like a very powerful Pokemon, but then, you know, you. you you kind of get the gif of like what what Pokemon go through and all that crud. So, look at that. I think I got mixed up somewhere around my first Pokemon. Man, they, they seriously look like that hand emoji. Okay, so let's move on right here. And the way you carry yourself, you are something. Hmm. We are something. We are everything. So here comes Gentleman Glenn. And he is coming out with a Darmanitani. Darmanathon. And we got to the free. Oh crap. <sighs> it's gonna be a while before we evolve that Pokemon, so let's go straight to Bex right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Darmanathon looking pretty big and beefy, and I, I'm only assuming that it is uh, very powerful physically. So here comes that, that taunt, and. Well, we're getting hit by hail, so that's something else right there. So let's go straight for a Pyro Ball. And here it comes, Pyro Ball. Time to finish it. And that is how you do it right there. Domenitan has been defeated. 
And, well, look at that. So what's next? I'm just going to continue on right here. He's probably, yeah, he's coming out with a Phalynx. Phalynx. And, well, let's go straight for a bounce attack right here. Hopefully this will actually do the job. And, well, here comes the bounce attack. And, well, Phalynx. Trying to use close combat. Doesn't work. We get buffed by hail, but guess what? Here comes the bounce attack. Bam. And Phalynx has been defeated. The circles on their heads. Okay, alrighty. And, well, let's see. More, yeah, more hail is hitting us right here. And he's going to be coming out with a, a grapple lock. Yeah, I wish I would have had the the, the flying type Pokemon, but right here we we, we kind of need a <laughs> we kind of need a wait on that one right there. So here we go, bounce attack, and well, let's see, grab the uh, Octolock. Wait, what the heck is an Octolock? This is a new move right here. And yes, of course, we're getting hit by hail. So here comes the bounce attack, and bam, grapple lock defeated. Man. Man, we are winning, and well, there we go. Gentleman Glenn is not so happy in <laughs> my Pokemon. Yes, they are marvelous. All right, time for a... Oh, wow, this is going to be a two-on-two -two battle, I think. So, let's see. Screw it, let's just leave it like that. Okay, let's go right ahead and take on these people. It's been a while. I'm glad we can meet up again. Let's see how strong you've gotten. Great Pokemon and traders really shine with something special with uh, with their on camera. Okay, alrighty. Let's go take it on Jillian and Cam. And they both come out with... Oh, wow. They're both coming out with some pretty interesting Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, let's see. One Pokemon is liking uh, everything. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight to Bex. And the other one... I want to say... Yeah, let's go right ahead and switch to Kiss right here. Alright, so we're switching Pokemon. These are definitely not the Pokemon that we need right now. So here's Kiss. And say goodbye to Koga Toga Pretty. And well, here we come out with Bex. And well, let's see. Thunder Attack. Bam! It's Kiss. Luckily, it's very, very bulky. And here comes a Shift Gear. This. Okay, so this right here is going to increase its uh, speed a lot. So, yeah, we, we, yeah, we are, uh, yeah, we, we're in a bit of a pickle right now, so, Jesus, man, this hail is getting annoying, so, let's see, let's go with the Pyro Ball, finish this guy off first, and, you know what, we got Brick Break, let's use it on Heliolisk, okay, here comes a Zap Cannon, and that hits it pretty hard, paralyzes my Kiss, and here comes a Pyro Ball right here, and there you go, Queen Clang, no more. Holy bejeebus. Okay, alrighty, so Dreamzilla level 57. And here comes another Thunder Attack, and I guess they're just trying to go for Kiss, right? Yeah. They are literally going for Kiss, and unfortunately, Kiss will faint due to this Hail Attack right here, so. Yeah, you've accomplished something right there, so say goodbye to Kiss. You guys fuck. Okay, alrighty, so let's go with Michelangelo right here. Let's finish let's finish some stuff up right here. Okay. And Toga the model. Okay, so we kinda screwed up a little bit. And yeah, let's go with Toga the model, because uh And oh yeah, you know what? We can go on through this. Okay, so yeah, okay, this is gonna work. And gravy. Everybody's missing! Togedamaru doesn't miss, and we are paralyzed. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Togedamaru. And we're going to be digging our way out of here because, well, we don't want to get hit again. So here comes a hail attack. And, well, let's see. Yeah, this, this battle is getting a little too prolonged right here, so let's go right ahead and go with a Super Bowl or a Pyro Ball right here. And Parabellic Charge. This, oh, wow. Oh wow, okay, so that, yeah, this is getting quite annoying right now, because this Pokemon is still up, and Heliolisk, oh wow, Zip Zap, Zing Zap, yeah, we're definitely getting our, our, our butts kicked right here, so here comes a Dig Attack, 
Say goodbye to Heliolisk. Man, you've been up for a little too long right there. And bam. Dreepzilla, or no, not Dreepzilla, but Togepi. Dreepzilla's a level 60. And here comes the buffed. We're getting buffed by Hail. Good gravy. And. Okay. Noivern. Oh, crap. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here because we really, really, really don't need this. Okay, so give that to Bex. And Michelangelo will hit Noivern right here since it's still a flying type Pokemon. And. You know, I think I do have a Noivern on my team here, so, oh crap, Hurricane, Zing Zap, and that hits us pretty hard right there. Okay, let's go with the Rock Tomb, and Noivern has been defeated. Okay, so, two against one, with my chops right here. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. Michelangelo, see, a little, little, little level 56, and, uh, well, let's see, two good mini, okay, we're out. This hail attack is getting annoying. Okay, so... Let's not do that. Okay, this Pokemon is a Steel-type Pokemon. F it. Hit it twice. And... Let's go with a Dig Attack. Finish this guy off right here. So, Dig Attack. For the win. And, well, comes a Nuzzle Attack. That, that is a quick, quick at evasion. And one more, one more. Oh, oh, seriously? Seriously, what, what, what else is new? Iron Barbs. Yeah, it, so I'm only assuming Togedemaru is a uh, kind of like a porcupine Pokemon in a sense. Kind of, I don't know. But, there it is, guys. We have defeated these guys after like five, six minutes of defeat, like just battling these guys. And yeah, they're not so happy at, at all. Okay, so... That is that, and we have reached the pinnacle, the summit of everything right here. Look at that! I see something! And before we do anything, let's go ahead and take a left turn to Albuquerque right here. Because... Oh wait, there should be something right here. Oh yeah, right here. So if you go right here, and you will be able to find an item right here, and that is the TM-98 Stomping Tantrum. And let's see what this move is all about. So, driven by frustration, the, f the user attacks the target. If the user's previous move has failed, the, po the, the power of this move doubles. Okay, so that's probably something like... That's actually something that I, I could use if you're, like, um, using, like, a move like Zap Cannon, uh, Thunder, you know, moves, very powerful moves with uh, very, low, uh, very low accuracy and all that crud. You know, that kind of stuff. Well, it looks like to me we finally made it to Winden right here, guys. And it only took us like half an hour to do all that crud, which is kind of annoying. But yes, we are in Winden. And one of our goals is to try and evolve Togepi. And uh, look at that. It is a it is a sight to behold right here, guys. Look, look at it. It's a, it's a big city. Big, big city. Holy crud. Holy bejeebus. We are gonna... Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun right here. Okay. Look at that. Okay, so that must be the big stadium we're gonna be winning again. Yeah. I'm gonna be winning so much. And... Well... Alright, Winden City! This is the place where I become a legend at last! You get it, don't you, mate? After all, I'm about to become the new champion of the Gala region. That's it. I'm heading straight to Winden Stadium. Don't waste too much time, Draven. You should head there yourself. Yeah, you know, I can't wait to mop the floor with you and just embarrass you because, you know, I don't know. Like I said, guys, I really like, I really don't have much uh, love for this for this guy right here. So, huh, we're here, Winden. And I think there's quite a few gyms, or not a gyms, but a few spots for a few Pokemon sta uh, a few Pokemon centers. Now, let's see. Right here, we're here to buy. And yes, you can buy yourself. You can buy yourself a, a few. Uh, what was it called? Uh, vitamins. So I'm gonna go with three. Three of each. Okay. So this is what's gonna happen. So what I've learned over the years playing Pokemon is that the easiest way to actually get your Pokemon to evolve 
through friendship is if you max out their their stats right here with uh, with what you call it with vitamins. Um, and at a certain point, yeah, at a certain point, you you're not going to be able to actually use those vitamins. So what's going to happen right here is I'm going to I'm going to actually give all these uh, these vitamins to Togapri. There we go. Because if you give it a certain amount, the max amount, there we go, it will be able to love you right afterwards. Plus, we already we already went camping. There we go. And zinc again, zinc again, zinc again. So yeah, we're kind of like giving it some pretty good stats right here. All right, uh, let's see. Okay, let's see what we got. And give that. Oh yeah, we got quite a few uh, small rare candies right here, and we're trying to level it up to level 61 right there. And there we go, guys. Friendship achieved. Okay, we're gonna see two evolutions for the price of one. Look at this. Okay. Bam! We got ourselves Togetic. Okay, so now we got the flying type capability. And going into the Pokedex, this Pokemon, it is two feet, seven pounds. They say that it will appear uh, before kind-hearted, caring people and shower them with happiness. I'm already happy because I made it happy and, well, it's learning Fairy Wind. Let's go ahead and take a look what kind of moves Fairy Wind well, it, it, look at that. It stirs up the fairy wind, strikes the target with it, but I'm not going to teach it that because, well, we already have a powerful fairy type move. And now that we have a toga tick, let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and do this. We already have a shiny stone. We got quite a few of them. And bam, another evolution. So you guys probably already learned a little something right here. Trying to raise the friendship, and then we might have overpowered our Togetic just a little bit, but it is what it is. But there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Toga Kiss. Toga Pri, Toga Kiss. Okay, so let's see. Toga Pri, flying and fairy type Pokemon, 411, 83 pounds. These Pokemon are never seen anywhere near conflict or turmoil. In recent times, they've hardly been seen at all. Okay, so now it's learning a very powerful uh, flying type move right here, and that is Air Slash. So now, let's just go ahead and take away Double Edge because, well, you know, recoil damage. But eventually, I'm going to switch up the moves and all that crud. And, well, let's see. Is there anything else? That's pretty much it right there, guys. So, there it is. We have evolved our, toga our Togepi. Now, I just want to check up on a few stats right here on it. On it. That way, you know. We, we get a little bit more acquainted with this Pokemon here. So here's Togekiss. Haven't used this Pokemon since Pokemon Platinum when I was Draven XC 7-Eleven. And as you can see, it is a special attacker, but its stats are just phenomenal. As you can see, it's not the biggest physical attacker, but it does have pretty good special attack defense and defense, and its special attack is through the roof. So some of these moves that I have like air slash or no like these physical attacks right here are just like or these uh these special attacks are gonna prove useful when we take on the Pokemon League plus it's a fairy type Pokemon so it's just you know it's it's a big big plus right there so anywho guys thank you guys again for watching I will be back for another episode of Pokemon uh, Sword make sure to make a donation if you guys want to right there on the little heart button right there links on the description I'll be back for another episode of Pokemon Sword see you guys